Hey, good afternoon, more Medic One. I am headed out to a road call. It's a uh, the the it's a zero turn mower, I believe. I don't know if it's a Toro or a Grasshopper yet until I get out there. Uh, this facility's got several different machines, but the complaint is the the engine and everything will crank up, but as soon as you hit the PTO to turn the blades on, they say the mower just quits. And uh, we're gonna go out there and figure out what it is. Hopefully it's just something simple. Alrighty guys, we got this thing out here. And I'm gonna jack it up on my trailer here, on my tongue of my truck. It's not going to be an electrical issue. It's gonna be a mechanical issue and the uh the left spindle over here is just locked up so let's figure out if it's bearings or or whatever it is going on first thing we're going to do though we need to remove this cross drive belt and it's easier done when there's the spindles aren't locked up so you can roll this thing around the easiest way to get these belts off is just basically you're just going to have to muscle it you just push it let's see if i can do it one-handed no almost though there it goes that's gonna get the tension off of it a little bit we can get the belt guard off of this thing We'd take the nut and the bolt and washer off of that spindle and we're gonna wiggle the pulley off. And now we can get to the bolts that hold on the spindle and it'll just drop to the bottom. You have a little rattle gun like this, you know, with a little universal socket, it sure makes your life easier. Because you can't hardly get in there. Alright, we're loose. Let's see if we can reach underneath. Let's see if we just can't go ahead and push that shaft on out the bottom of the spindle here. Well, I'll be. When I started removing the shaft, this wad of wire wasn't on the the blade side of the blade hub, the blade adapter. It was all up inside the spindle. So if we took the blade off, that wouldn't have done anything. Look at this. It is eating up the spindle. It was wrapped around it to where I couldn't see this on the bottom side. I could have just took the blade off and not have to disassemble all this, but now that we've got an eat up, eaten up spindle, <sighs> probably just gonna have to replace the spindle. There's supposed to be a, a, a plastic cup that goes over this to keep the debris from getting wrapped up in there. Go ahead and check these bearings. It's got a little roughage to it, a little grindage. You can walk this thing back and forth and just feel. Let's go ahead and knock these bearings out. I'm gonna I'm gonna order a spindle, but they need to finish mowing this weekend because I have an event. So, I mean, it's no skin off of my teeth. Just go ahead and we're gonna throw some bearings in here. And uh, whenever I get a new spindle, we'll, we can always come back out and five bolts, six bolts, have this thing swapped out in just a minute. But let's just get them going for today. Now what you have, you have a, a, a bearing here and a bearing here and you have a crush sleeve in the middle of the two bearings. That's where you get your preload. Now, if you do a lot of uh, banging and hitting rocks and stuff, 
you can actually damage this sleeve in here to the point to where it mushrooms the sleeve. Once I get it out, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But if you mushroom the sleeve over and you go to bolt this thing back together and you tighten it up, you're putting too much preload on the bearings because the sleeve is mushroomed over and it's just thousands of an inch shorter now. And, and I'll tell you what, a thousandth, one thousandth of an inch makes all the difference in the world when you are rebuilding bearings. The way I'm going to get these bearings out is pretty simple. Just going to use a drift punch. Uh, you can see that sleeve in there. Just take your finger and just move that sleeve to one side so that we can take our punch and go right on the edge of the bearing here. And we don't care how we get them out, but putting them in is a different story. So let's go ahead and tap this old one out. If I can do it without getting too much in the way here. There we go. And do the same thing with this bearing. Here is your crush sleeve. This must have been a fairly new spindle because the grease looks brand new still. But this surface here needs to be flat on both, you know, both ends of this. And what you want to do is you just want to feel and see if there's a lip. And there's not on this one but if it starts rolling over because of blunt force trauma you know hitting uh anything rocks stumps just any hard surface or even an anthill this is this is actually a sacrificial piece it's made out of super soft metal on the uh the grasshoppers it takes a 6205 uh, 2zj it's i like to use these style of bearings they have the the double steel uh, seal and these in my opinion last a lot longer even longer than the factory uh, bearings so we're going to go ahead and get this slid in here now if you have any debris we probably, you might want to wipe this out real good It's nice and clean. Now you see the step. You want to drive this bearing all the way till it seats against this step. And this step will also mushroom out if you know it has a lot of hard abuse. And this this being rolled down and, and worn down will also cause too much preload on a bearing. So what you want to do is just get it started and don't tap this part of the bearing tap the outside race only and once you get it in there it's probably going to be pretty much uh you know it'll just slide down in there just take your socket and walk it. Hear that change in tone? It's seated. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Make sure we're good and clean.
and then drop in our spacer. And then the other bearing. I don't have another ZJ bearing, so I'm just gonna use another new OEM bearing on the pulley side of this spindle. And you can also see the lip here. Oops, got a little piece of grass in there. That's the only thing about doing it outside, folks. You're gonna get a lot of contamination if you're not careful. So let's go ahead and slide this on down. You don't have to get rough with it. Just tap. bueno right there at this point we can go ahead and marry the two pieces together up in there and into that bearing. Oh yeah. We are free, free, free now. All right, let's go ahead and set our spindle back up underneath. And uh, we'll get her tightened back down here. Just get a couple started so you don't have to hold it anymore. Sorry about the wind noise, it's super bad today all your bolts to 13 to 18 foot pounds click 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 ha, ha, ha. reinstall your dust shield and reinstall your pulley making sure your keyway is lined up and in there i've seen so many of these keys not even in there torque your center bolt to about 20 foot pounds i've done this so many times that i can just about feel it ah there's plenty right there slide your belt on her and give her a test run guys we got that grasshopper going one more time hey if this content helped you out give me a thumbs up and smash that like button and while you're there go ahead and click the bell so you'll get all of my new videos anyway we'll see you guys on the next one